Welcome to the homework for lesson 14. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name here first. Or probably forget it later if you don't do it now. Draw a number bond for each fractional unit. Partition the fraction strip to show the unit fractions of the number bond. Use the fraction strip to help you label the fractions on the number line. Be sure to label the fractions at 0 and 1. So we're transitioning from fraction strips to fractions on a number line. And they're really not much different. It's, it's, about, uh, it's like looking at a ruler, really. So here we have to use, we need two halves, right? So right about in the middle is where we would cut our strip or fold it. And there's our mark right there. So this is going to be uh, 0 halves, 1 half, and this would be 2 halves. Now we're looking at eighths. And this is going to take a little while because I need to finish the number bond. And we need 8 of these things. Five, six, seven, eight eighths. And we're going to have to do the same thing for our fraction strip. Let's see, we'd fold it in half first, right? And then we fold our halves in half. And then we fold our fourths in half, and that's how we get eighths. And we can make our hash marks on the number line the same way. So this would be zero eighths, that's one eighth, two eighth. Once you get going on these, it's pretty easy to know what comes next. Just don't forget that zero. 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and don't forget the, the whole is 8 eighths. And now we have fifths. So we're going to need 5 of those. And fifths are not easy, but remember my trick for fifths was, I guess, that's about half. And I'm going to think that would be about a fourth. And a fifth is going to be a little bit smaller than a fourth. So I'm going to call that a fifth. And I'm going to just, just keep trying to make other ones about the same. And then I should end up with mostly equal fifths. Fifths are just a pain. There's no great tricks for them. But labeling is easy. Zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and five fifths. It looks like my fifth fifth is a little bit too big, but close enough. Carter needs to wrap seven presents. He lays the ribbon out flat and says, If I make six equally spaced cuts, I'll have just enough pieces. He needs seven presents, but he makes six cuts. I can use one piece for each package and I won't have any pieces left over. Does he have enough pieces to wrap all the presents? So this is the thing. The trick is for these, so it's a ribbon, which means it's going to look just like a tape diagram when we draw a picture of it. Right? And you do have to draw a picture because it's a word problem, and we read, we draw a model, and then we write our answer statement and an equation. So 
here's our here's our piece of ribbon, right? The thing is that is that we want sevenths, right? So it takes six cuts to make sevenths because the first cut, you'll see why. Now I'm just going to try to guess here. That's that would be a fourth about here. Then a fifth might be there, and sevenths might be, that might be a seventh. I'm just guessing. We'll just see how it turns out, and we can erase the last one if it's too big, or make it bigger if it's too small. Uh, because that first cut, you can see right away that first cut makes two pieces, and each cut after that, now I have three pieces it makes only one more piece. So that's why you only need six cuts to make seven pieces. One, two. So let's see. That's another. There's another, another. I'm going to count them later. I just want to try and get them about the same. One, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have too many pieces. Did I make too many cuts? I made one, two, three, four, five so, yeah I did I made too many cuts so I'm gonna fix my picture I'm gonna erase this last piece because otherwise I'd have eighths right so these are I'm labeling my cuts that's one cut cuts so that's one cut two cuts three cuts four cuts five cuts six cuts makes how many pieces makes one two three four five six seven pieces does he have enough yes six equally spaced cuts so the, the since the cuts are equally spaced they make equal size pieces six e Wally, right, it's right here. Make seven. Seven equal pieces. And if we wanted to label this. Right, zero sevenths, one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths, four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, and this last one, seven sevenths. You don't make that last cut because it's already been made when you start. Or you can think that the first cut makes two pieces, either way. Mrs. Rivera is planting flowers in her one meter long rectangular plant box okay <laughs> long rectangular box that's going to be a tape diagram uh, she divides the plant box into sections one ninth of a meter in length and plants one seed in each section draw and label there draw and label a fraction strip representing the plant box from zero meters to one meter so this is a lot like what we've just been doing we're drawing a, a tape diagram and then labeling it like it's a number like it's a number line. Now we need ninths. So that means we need eight cuts. Um, and a ninth is going to be a little bit less than an eighth. So let me just try to get this. Uh, let me just guess where to start. So fourths would be about that big and eighths would be about this big. So I'm going to guess a ninth looks like that. And I'm just going to make some, so that's one ninth, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this last one, nine. Now you could do thirds and get and cut each third into three equal parts, and that would give you nine ninths. Or you 
or you can do it this way. Whatever works for you, as long as you get nine pieces that look pretty much the same. And we're going to label um, zero ninths there. And this right here is one ninth. That's two ninths, three ninths. Just like a ruler, you don't actually have three ninths until you get to the, that, that third mark from the end. Five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, nine ninths. And I couldn't do this. One, one meter. Okay, so did we do everything we're supposed to do? Draw and label a fraction strip representing the plant box from zero meters to one meter. Done. Represent each section where she will plant a seed. We did that. And label all the fractions. Done. Okay. How many seeds will she be able to plant in one plant box? She's planting one seed in each section. One seed in each section. So, um... She will be able to plant nine seeds. And if you want to write an equation, this is the one that I would write. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You make sure we have nine nines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more. How many seeds will she be able to plant in four boxes, four plant boxes? So if she's got nine in each box and she's got four boxes, then she's adding four nines together, right? And that's the same as four times nine, 36. She can plant thirty six seeds. Draw a number line below your fraction strip and mark all your fractions. So that's the one that's up here. And I just need hash marks that match up with the tape diagram and I'm going to use the same labels I already wrote so you can see where I'm if I do this in black maybe it'll be easier to see my hash marks for my number line that's underneath and you can see if you made a big wide um, flower box like I did and you don't have room you just write it over something else and sometimes you can't help it. You don't have to erase and start over again. There. And those look pretty good. Close to being equal. Done.